when despair for the world grows in me, and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things, who do not tax their lives with forethought, of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day-blind stars waiting with their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world, and am free. I have been nestled into the Rocky Mountains for a week, two weeks, maybe more. It's crazy. The time just slips by when you're caught up in the magic of a place like this. I mean, gosh, I am so lucky to call this home for right now. Um, but I got a really exciting text message from an old friend. I hit the road full time back in March of 2019 and um, I met this friend while I was living on the road and we actually camped together once the pandemic first hit. There was a small group of us who just went to a little corner of the Nevada desert and posted up there when the world was really scary because no one really knew what was going on. Um, but this is my friend Brian and he texted me telling me that he is also in Colorado and that he has some exciting things going on and he wants me to come check it out and I cannot wait. So this video is going to be a little different. You get to meet one of my nomad friends and we get to go on a very different kind of adventure. So Rio and I are just going to continue walking a bit. I want to put this camera down because we are in bear country, moose country, so I want to keep an eye out. I'll pick you back up when we're ready to hit the road. Rio, you ready, honey? All right, let's hit the road. This is my friend Brian, and he just got himself into a wild next adventure. I'll sit him down and he can tell you a bit about it himself. This place is unique, and I mean, I think one of it's the things so I'm- It's so unique. Yeah, I mean- It's so cool. It's just, it's just gonna be such a big project, but I have this, you know, I have a vision and I hope I'm being like realistic enough. Then you were on the road for a road. while. Like two and a half years. Being on the road is amazing and there's like so much opportunity with it. It's like unmatched, it but is. also, there's like this community aspect that you mm. don't have in the same way. I mean, there is a community, but it's different. So spending a little bit of time in Colorado, I made like a circle of friends and started like climbing and so cool. met people through that and yeah. made some car friends and like dirt biking. And I liked that. And I was like, can I have both? Yeah. So, um, so then I kind of made the plan to try to find a place here as like a home base. Um, to give myself the option to do a little bit of both. This is just perfectly you. It's so <laughs> outrageous and wonderful yeah. and um, 
like technical also is and weird and weird i love it's perfect um, there, for you <laughs> there are like there are some problems that i don't yet know how to solve but uh that's maybe that's similar to being on the road you gotta just Definitely. go into it and say i'm gonna figure it out so um, was it at auction is that how you got your so, hands on this yeah they were on the verge of foreclosure and i came and saw it with a realtor and a friend and okay. we walked it and it was just total like hoarder crazy super eclectic full like so full of things and like really you couldn't even really get really, through the whole house right yeah dirty and dark oh. and like i we left the place and i was like wow that's like incredible but it's too much like, like i've never heavy. done this before yeah. i don't know what i'm doing it's too much and you know all credit to my friend he's like it's way cooler and like great location and more interesting than any of the other stuff we've looked at yeah. And he's like, we can figure it out. And it was like, we can figure it out. And I was like, Aww. I'm like, we can? Because he's got a lot more experience with, than yeah. I do with like everything. See, and this is your community so, that you exactly, found exactly. like showing up for you. This is a once in a lifetime type right. of property. Like right. you don't see pieces of property like this come up for sale hardly ever. Yeah, these pop up for like a million and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that wasn't yeah. gonna happen. You know the right. location that this is in. I mean, we're like oh 25 gosh. minutes from Denver. It's perfect. Um, but we're in the mountains, and there's like great views out back, and and it's on 10 acres. So just a quick perspective of the view. It is stunning. So this is one of the roads behind the house. That's the garage down there. Gorgeous views. And then, hey, Reed. This property just has so much potential. I'm so excited for Brian. And then this is where the greenhouse is that Brian's gonna take out and um, hopefully put a little tiny house or something of that sort with a porch and a little driveway area. And those views, gosh, just stunning. To the dome? Yeah. This was built in 1982. It's a monolithic dome. Monolithic which is dome. A concrete structure. Okay. And the way they construct them is really unique. They use an air form and inflate it, so it's basically like a big bubble mm -hmm. that they bring fans and inflate. They spray them with foam. They spray it from the inside with foam, then they spray it with shotcrete, which is like concrete, rebar, and more shotcrete. It's bulletproof hurricane proof, essentially fireproof. I um, mean, they're super energy efficient too. Nice. And they're weird. And they're weird. People are like, I love it. And I'm like, just say it. <laughs> it's okay. Walking in. So, Whoa. Uh, yeah. These, it feels huge in here. Yeah. Okay, take us through. Um, so here's, I guess, kind of living room, hangout area. Super and this cool. Is a, a natural gas stove, which is kind of funky in front and it heats the place up like really well. Yeah, I bet it's pretty easy to... And the reason... Oh! Right, so the reason <laughs> that I, I want this to be like a big open kind of communal space. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna have like a bit of an entry, but I feel like the closet right there... Yes. ...is an older style. I, I, I see a better way to do that. Definitely. So yeah, there's like the really cool spiral staircase. Wow, and you even got a sunken living room. That was yeah. cool. There's a couple like thoughts on what to do with this area. I mean, one is to keep like the character and keep it like this. Yeah. Someone just recently brought up something I hadn't thought about. What which was it? Is, you know, it, you lose a little bit of the charm, but in, in an effort to have a big communal area, uh -huh. take this out, which I like, I'm not sold on that yet. Okay. Um, and even possibly make this level as well. Okay. So you're kind of modernizing and taking a little bit of the quirkiness out. Mm -hmm. And it gives you like a really big hangout. It is a huge space. So, undecided. Okay. Would you put another stove in, do you think? You know, we actually talked about possibly moving it like closer to the wall. Yeah. So that might be a halfway point. Because mm -hmm. you could just get one with an elbow. You just have to right. probably yeah. put an elbow in that. So, so I'm not sure. Cool. Lots of creative opportunities here, though. That is incredible. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah. okay, the lamp inside yeah. the spiral it's is weird. amazing. When we first got into the place, it smelled really, really bad um, for a few reasons. 
but one was there was a fridge there and there was a deep freezer out in the sunroom. Mm -hmm. but neither of them had power. Oh no. And oh no. They were full of food and a lot of meat. As soon as we could, <laughs> I got them outside and I basically used a shovel oh. to empty them. <laughs> it was an unpleasant day, you know, like rubber gloves up to here and um, Oh, it was a rough day, but it had to get done. And it also had to get done all in one day because you can't leave food outside because of bears. Right. Like it was rough. Brian. Um, there was a bunch of dog feces oh. all over the carpet. They actually cleaned that pretty well. It's all kind of amazing. Considered. I feel like there's still a smell, but believe me, it's just nowhere near. No. Nowhere near. So. I would tell um, you if it smelled, Brian. Let I me could, tell you, it I, does not. Okay. So it just smells like awesome. you've been doing some serious deep cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> um, this would be a door to go out to the center room, but uh -huh. that's the one I got broken into. Uh, yes. So that's boarded up now. Yes. Um, and let's see. I guess maybe four hours. I mean, I think a lot of the stuff is. This is kind of the unique part of it. So, so cool. Like the curved the walls. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Huge closet. Beautiful window. Yeah, these windows are fun. Um, these are big bedrooms, are, Brian. I was not. These are going to confuse people, but um, so you pull down here and then it just like pivots. Whoa. In the center. Yeah, the windows I like, they need to kind of be refinished. Huge closet in this one. Yeah, so this is the master, like by definition. Okay. Oh wow, it's, it's got oh, back. it's got an ensuite. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, sunken, cool. Sunken tub. Sunken tub. Look, at, look at this. I, I just love this. Yeah. This is a cutout for like a CRT TV. Like an <laughs> old, you know, like 24-inch. I love this. What yeah. year was this built? 82. 82. Same, same year I was built. There you go. <laughs> um, so bathroom. So we like deep cleaned one bathroom. Okay. So we had a bathroom. To use. Nice. Right. Is this the so, deep cleaned bathroom? Yeah. Oh, it looks great. So. To be honest, with the dome home, I was thinking that the interior would feel really spacious, but anything on the exterior would feel yeah, smaller. Yeah, upstairs the walls curve a little bit more. Uh huh. But yeah, it's not bad. I mean, while this is we're great. on the main floor, I'll just show you. So this is like wow. an attached garage, like a three-car attached garage that they finished. The plan is to make this entire space like a movie theater slash game room. Uh, so yeah, two bedrooms down here. There's like, well, I'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> so there's one bedroom up here. Watch the stairs. Okay. They're a little. Actually, I guess the downstairs ones are the real trouble. Okay. But th this is cool view. So just right back in the kitchen. Living space. Yeah, there's a loft up here, which is fun. Oh, there's a oh, fun. You're in luck. I don't know why this is here, but you can put this in your bus. If you <laughs> want. I'm, I'm honored. We can match. I could imagine there were some fun parties here in the '80s. You know, yeah. just really open concept. Yeah, I mean the person that Super built this cool. must have been kind of a free spirit, creative, Definitely. creative guy. The walls don't go all the way up top. I think that's uh -huh. like for airflow. That makes I might, sense. I might close them in. Or, you know, I talked about doing the insulates. This right. Is, this is kind of a weird room because there's no window. Um, so my thought is... Storage? Like an attic? Well, my thought is to expand Whoa. the room a bit. Oh. And then actually knock down like this wall, essentially. Oh. Okay. So the loft will be the a full. bigger Yeah. Space. So that's, that's a great I'm, idea. That's what I'm thinking there. And then making this a little bigger because this is like a small bathroom. Okay. And Bedroom. So a but whole nother bedroom, bedroom and bath. This is the bedroom that has like great views. Wow. So, <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah, so if that wall is like four or five feet further back. Oh, this would be huge. Yeah, and then you could have the, oh. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> like the bed right here. And then just these views. What? Not bad. Yeah, so this is what you run bad. into up here where, you know, like basically you can't really oh. stand beyond this. So like you've got six feet of perimeter that are a little funky. I wonder if you could do like built-in like drawers or something. Like a know. desk and drawers yeah. and storage, yeah. So another whole bathroom. So the bathroom, like, I think I want to... Fun. I love a good rug in a bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed that.
Yep. You're gonna have to burn your shoes down. <laughs> It's even got a shower, so it's a full bath in here. Yeah, so I'd like to make it a little bigger. Uh-huh. Oh, the wallpaper. Yeah, that's actually cool. I kind right? of love it. Yeah. It feels like a comic strip. Yeah. I love it. You're going to have to keep some of these little... Oh, the, the green. Yeah. Um, uh, the yep. green. <laughs> that shouldn't surprise me. What we've walked through so far is like the plan for when I make the rental. Okay, okay. And then there's a basement. The basement hasn't really been cleaned up quite as much. I mean, everything has been cleaned up a lot, but we've like mopped. Everyone who watches this video, please give Brian some serious love in the comments right now for <laughs> cleaning up this house the way that he did. Sharpie. Red carpeted wall. Yep. Fun. It's original. It's original. <laughs> so this entire place was like, it was so full of stuff. It's insane. And, um, and yeah, we're working on it. It's huge down so, here. Yeah, so this will be like a separate, separate whole space. separate living space. Well, it has its own separate entrance, right? Wow! And it's got its own little bar so, kitchen. Yep, so it had a wet bar, so that'll be a kitchen. Look at the cabinetry here with yeah, the glass. So it's beautiful. I guess these are, this is like leaded glass, wow. which is really neat. And you have a hot tub room. <laughs> Whoa! Oh a, yeah, this is fun. This had a mystery tub of mystery liquid in it. Uh oh. So uh oh. We uh, pumped that out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this room, but yeah. I don't think it's going to have a hot tub. In yeah. It. Well, because you're thinking of a hot tub on the back porch with the views. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So do I have a black light? <gasps> what is there stuff on the wall? Yeah. You know, this is what it looks like, right? <laughs> then you bring the black light in. Uh. If you've seen Gone in 60 Seconds, they made all their notes in black light marker and you know, when the police came, it was like, shh, take all the lights. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. Um, common area, kitchen, bathroom, and then this will be one bedroom and we'll add a window. Okay. So like egress window. I'm hoping to make this a two bed down here, like a two bed, one bath. So I'll cool. combine this room and that room. So you hope to do a lot of this yourself. This is what your project's gonna be for the next year. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yes. Well, you've got a whole bunch of people who wanna help you, myself included. Cool. And it's so cool. I know you're just in the thick of it right now, but this is such a little gem. It's gonna be so awesome. I can't wait to see it when it's got the Brian flair to it. The, I need the input for any of the millions of people watching right now. <laughs> yeah. I need to like, I need the, the angle on how to blend like the modern minimalist clean mm. with a little bit of retro that kind of honors yes. what this place is. Yes. So that's not my area of expertise. So I am looking. All right. So if you've got any fun ideas, drop yeah. them in the comments. All right. Now you're going to put me to work, huh? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I haven't put these overalls on since the shop, since I was building this bus. Um, but I'm excited. I get to get my hands dirty, so I'm gonna help Brian take off a portion of this roof that the previous owners had added some crazy funky thing to it, so get to do a little bit of demo, which I love demo. If you guys watched my bus build series, you'll know how much I loved it, so I'm excited to get my hands dirty and help out Brian, who's been such a good friend to me, so let's go. Getting it done. <laughs> Check out this progress.
the dome, the view. Pretty successful day, I'd say. Just when I thought this adventure was over, Brian invited me to meet his friend Jess, who purchased a mining claim a few years back and has slowly turned it into a tiny home paradise where friends are always welcome to stay and be merry. On this night, we toured this little slice of mountain paradise, swapped life stories over burgers and champagne under a string of lights as our reflections danced on the pond's surface. It felt like such an honor to be there. Living on the road, I meet the most inspiring people who are living with such intention. Every time I circle back to Colorado, I tend to find a little bit of magic in community. Colorado is definitely on my short list of places I could call home in the future, but buying a little piece of land to call my own is a ways off. I have quite a few more places I need to see first. Speaking of, I am about to head in a direction I've never been before and caravan with a few friends that some of you might already know, but that'll be for next video. Adventure awaits.